What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you what to do if you removed Cydia on purpose or by accident and you're jailbroken but you no longer have any ways to start Cydia. You can see I do not have Cydia anywhere and I removed it on purpose for the sake of this video. If I search for Cydia, there is no Cydia installed in here and unfortunately the fixes that you can find online are not working, most of them, because they're either outdated or they get various errors. So, how are you going to fix this? At first, make sure you are jailbroken, in a jailbroken state, even though I do know that the um, the Cydia will not appear if you're jailbroken, I'm going to show you how to get it back. So, I have posted this fix here on Reddit Jailbreak a couple of days ago, and um, yeah, if you want to have a text um, tutorial, it's available in here, link is in the description, but I'm going to show you how to do it. If you have Filesa or iFile installed, this is going to be very, very easy for you. If you don't have Filesa or iFile installed, it's going to be a little bit harder, you're going to need to create an SH, sorry, SSH connection to the uh, device, and I'm going to save that for another video, but if you have Filesa or iFile, and if you don't, it's it would be the, the time to start using them, um, you're going to simply open Filesa or iFile somewhere, go into the root right here and then you need to scroll up until you find the, um, the installed Yalux file. Now in my case for some reason it's on the top but for you it will probably be on the bottom of the uh, stack. So um, you need to delete installed Yalux. This is very easy, it doesn't involve reinstalling app, it doesn't involve doing anything like this but yeah, it might not be the best um, variant because it will make CDI install again, it will unpack everything from Yalu again, but the problem is you're going to get some errors about the packs, you're going to need to reinstall some of the, um, the packs, the repos you've had installed. But anyways, from this point after you removed the uh, Yalux file, you need to reboot completely your device and jailbreak again, I'm gonna be back. Okay, so I have rebooted the device and I jailbroke again with Yalu. It took a little bit more time because it copied again the content of the jailbreak, but nonetheless, you can see if I go here back, I have Cydia and it shows that little uh, dot, that little um, mark that it says it was reinstalled or it was newly installed. If I try to open it, it does open, but as I say, you're going to get some error about the packets. It is safe to assume that it's working and um, you should ignore that thing. We're going to see exactly what happens. You're going to have to update some of the tools, by the way, because as you can see, it gives you an essential update. You need to click complete upgrade and it's going to uh, reinstall CDI installer, Debian packager and tape archive. Those are uh, actually updated because when you do this, the method that I, uh, that I have shown you, and apparently nobody have thought about this and it's pretty damn easy to fix CDI using this method, it actually makes Yalu, it forces Yalu to reinstall everything related to the jailbreak, including Cydia and any other binaries that might be slightly out of date. But it's not a problem, Cydia will automatically reinstall the latest version of everything after you open it, as you can see in this case. It's going to be pretty damn easy. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to respring at this point. You probably understand why it will cut off the uh, recording, but you can see things have uh, started to work normally again. And I have CDI installer. Let me try to open and install a terminal to show you that CDI is working properly. Terminal, okay. Um, yeah, probably it would be called M terminal. Yes, M terminal, click install, confirm. And you can see it starts installing with no problem, so Cydia is working definitely correctly with no any other um, issues or errors or yeah, things related. So this is a very, very easy method that I discovered for fixing Cydia. Uh, this also works for Pangu, if you remove Pangu installed, I'm going to go in here, you can see terminal is installed and I can do whatever I want. So this is basically it guys, thanks for watching, till the next time do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geo Snow, really hope it helped and peace out.